just messed up everything, right, Stephen? Now we're too kanchong, yeah. But I really appreciate Stephen and all the stewards. Huh? He's been such a long-standing uh, leader of the steward team. It's getting better now, amen? With a better team of people who are working together. Thank God the more of you are rising up and serving God together with uh, our leaders. And we believe that in our church, everyone is serving. Eh? Every one of you are important and every one of you can add value to the church in building the church. So we are At C3, you are here not just to get blessed, but at C3, you are built up in Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. So today's message is what I'm going to preach about, about how we need to build the house of God. We are building something that's going to last forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's pray right now in Jesus' name. As we come together in Jesus' name, something supernatural is going to happen in our lives and in our hearts. Father, we thank you for your amazing son, Jesus. We thank you that we can come together this manner to worship you, Jesus. You are the center and the focus of all that we are doing today. And we ask that as we preach, as the word go forth, that every heart will be open to receive from you. Every mind will be opened. Every ear will be opened. That we are going to receive a supernatural impartation into our hearts this morning. Let faith be released as the word goes out. We thank you. Our people are not just going to get blessed, but today they're going to be built up to be the people of God, a people of purpose, a people of power, a people that will glorify you, that will extend and expand the kingdom of God. Thank you for every single person that's that's in our church, that's a part of the body of Christ, that's part of this great C3 family that is serving, that is giving, that is sacrificing, that is building your house. Bless every single one. Empower us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus we ask and pray. All God's people shout. Amen. 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 Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Built to last. Life is all about perspective. How you live your life is dependent on your perspective. If you have an eternal perspective, then you're going to live very different than if you have only a 70 or an 80 years perspective. If I have a one-day perspective, do you know what? When I go for a wedding reception and then in front of me is laid out a table full of the yummiest desserts, guess what? I'm, I'm going to eat a whole lot of it. Yeah? How many love the dessert side? Huh? We all love it, right? If we could eat all of it, we'll eat the whole table. But then, if you have an 80 years perspective, you're just going to eat a few, right? Why? Because you don't have a tummy ache problem next morning or you don't want to put on extra pounds or you can't fit into your clothes anymore or you're going to have long-term health problems and issues. That's right. So that's why it's so important to have an eternal perspective. When you have an eternal perspective, you're going to live very differently from if you have only an 80-year perspective. We're going to pursue things differently. We are able to endure things that we normally won't endure. Uh, we have different priorities because of the eternal perspective that we have. 
，因为就是有这个永恒的价值在里面的时候，我们所追求的，我们所会看到的都会不同。Let me ask you a question: How many of you know that God is a rewarder? 就是说，你有多少人知道神是奖赏我们的呢 ？All right. When God appeared to Abraham from the Bible, He said to Abraham that I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. 就是说，当上帝啊、呃、显现在亚伯拉罕的时候，他跟他说：“我是你的盾牌，我给你祝福是超过这一切。” Psalms 19 says there is great reward in keeping the word of God. 就是说，在诗篇十九篇这么说。在上帝的里面跟随神的话，将有大奖赏。Hebrews 11 says God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him。就是说，在希伯来书也这么说，那一些跟随神的话，上帝将会奖赏。Amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor God is a rewarder。上帝是一个奖赏者。God is a rewarder。上帝是一个奖赏者。For this reason, Apostle John from the Bible, who started following Jesus when he was a teenager. 就是说，在圣经里面记载着，这个使徒约翰呢，在他年轻的时候就跟随着耶稣。And after living so faithfully all his life, at the end of his life, he wrote this passage from Second John one eight. 就是说，在他就是说这么多年忠诚的跟随耶稣时，当他还生命还没有来到结束时，他写了这个，这个，这个，呃，这个约翰二书八节。Yes, up there. Let's read that. Watch out that you do not lose what you have worked. So hard to achieve. Be diligent so that you receive your full reward. 这里讲到你们要小心，不要失去你们所做的功劳，要得着满足的赏赐。Some of you may say to me, "But Pastor, I live for Jesus not because of rewards. I live for Jesus because I love Jesus." I agree with you. I totally agree with you. 有些人可能就是我同意你这样说，比如说我我为耶稣而活，我不是为了他的奖赏，我是为耶稣而活。But Apostle John, who wrote this verse or this passage of scripture, talking about the great reward that God's going to give us, he loved Jesus. He was called the apostle that loved Jesus. 就是说，约翰呢，使徒约翰写这个的时候，他不单只是一个爱耶稣，他也了解明白到耶稣给他的这个的赏赐。He was the one at the foot of the cross when Jesus was crucified, and he turned to John and said, "John, take care of my mother." 也就是说，他其实，在耶稣被钉十字架的时候，他就是在耶稣的脚跟前。耶稣跟他说：“约翰，你照顾我的母亲。”John was so close to Jesus, he used to lean on Jesus on the Last Supper. Remember when he was leaning on Jesus? Jesus shared the secret of who the betrayer was to John. 就是说，约翰呢是这么这么亲密耶稣。耶稣在守这个圣餐，在被出卖的时候，他跟约翰说：“谁出卖耶稣 ？”And at the end of his life, he said this to all the Christians: "Say, live your life in such a way that you will receive the full reward." 就是说，他跟之他还没有离开的时候，他跟那些信徒这么说：“你要生活你的生命，好像要得到最满足的赏赐一样。”Notice here when John specifically mentioned that there's a full reward, which means. There's also a partial reward, and there's also a no reward, right? 当约翰这么说，当有满足的赏赐的时候，也许可能都会有一部分的赏赐，或者是根本没有赏赐。Why did John mention about a partial reward? 为什么耶稣就是啊啊？为什么约翰讲到这个部分的这个赏赐呢 ？I believe it's because God wants all of us to receive the full reward. Amen. 就是上帝的心思要我们完完全全得到这个满足的赏赐。Apostle John doesn't want us to lose sight of this important truth, which many Christians have lost sight of. 是说，约翰不要我们好像这么多很多的信徒都失去了明白到这个的真理。That is, one day every one of us Christians have to stand before God, not just as Savior, but as our Judge. 就是说，在有一天，就是说，我们会站在上帝的面前，他不单是我们的救主，他也是我们的这个的法官。Some of you might say, "Hey, but I thought that Jesus is my savior and、uh, he's no more my judge." <laughs> but let's see what the scripture says. 就是说，我们来看看，就是说，我们会以为以为就是说，耶稣只是我们的救主，而不是法官。Second Corinthians, huh? 我们来看呃，哥林多后书 ，five verse eight. Starting with verse eight, it says here: Yes, we are fully confident, and we would rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will be at home with the Lord. So whether we are here in this body or away from this body, our goal is to please Him. 
，是吧？我们坦然无惧的是更愿意离开身体与主同住，所以无论是住在身内离开身外，我们立了志向要得主的喜悦。Who is Paul talking to here in this scripture? Is he talking to non-Christians? Is he talking? Who is he talking to? Go to Christians. Huh? He's saying that those for us Christians, we know that when absent from the body is present with the Lord. Yes, immediate entrance into heaven, into the presence of God. When he's here, when we leave our physical body, we are immediately going to the presence of the Lord. Understanding, having the eternal perspective, will help us to motivate and set our goals to please Him. So, when we can understand this eternal perspective, this eternal perspective, we will make the goals to please Him. Let me explain to you. First of all, let me illustrate this. Let me explain to you. First of all, let me illustrate this. Now, I had my grandsons all sit around the table one day, and this is what I said to them. 就是说，我跟你解释一下，有一天我的成，我全部的孙子就坐在那一个的座前。I've got six grandsons, ah, and four of the grandsons actually lives here. Two grandsons in Australia. 就是说我有啊六个的孙子，这样我有四个是在是在这里，两个是在澳大利亚。And how many grandparents know we all dote on our grandchildren, don't we? We love our grandchildren, spoil them, chukup chukup, ah, yeah. 是啊，其实我们是非常宠爱我们的孙子。And so this, I'll tell, we'll tell the boys, we say, hey boys, you can't do one thing to add or to take away the love that we have for you. That's right. But you are in charge of how pleased I'm going to be with you. So, 可是你有这个掌管，这个权利是使到说，我如何的来到对待你。In the same way, you can do one thing to make God love you any more or any less than He already loves you. 同样的，我们不可能做其他什么的事情，使到神爱你更多或者是更少。However, you are in charge of how pleased He's going to be with you. 可是他，你要，其实你有这个这样的权利，是使到神。Do you understand what I mean? You understand? That's why God. That's why Paul says his goal is to be well pleasing to the Lord. So here, he's talking about this. Paul is talking about his goal is to be well pleasing to the Lord. Then we continue the verse. It says, "For we must all stand before Christ, okay, to be judged." So here, he's talking about because we all stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will stand before Christ to be judged. That is, we will
，就是说这一个审判的，在希腊原文这个审判意思就是说呢，是指一个调查之后的一个决定。That's right. So judgment is decisions that God's going to make. 就是说，这一个的审判，就是对上帝来讲是一个的决定。Jesus is going to do a thorough investigation and examination of all our lives, our works, our words. Amen. Ah,、huh? our even our motives, our thoughts. 就是说，上帝将会调查我们，我们生命里面我们所所做事情，我们的动机是什么，我们所做的，我们所讲的是什么。Only He can judge people, huh? 唯有上帝才能够去审判。One Corinthians four five says, "So don't make judgments about anyone ahead of time." That's what Christians like to do,、uh, judging everybody. Oh, he's no good. He's a bit hypocrite. This blah blah blah. I'll leave that to God. Huh? Uh, oh, I don't know whether he'll go to heaven. He's such a bad Christian, or no, no, he. You know, I don't know if he really, really is a.、Uh, uh, what he's going to, what's going to happen to him? You know, when he dies. No, it's not for us to judge before the Lord's return. For He will bring our dark. Secrets to the light, and will reveal our private motives. Then God will give to each one whatever praise is due. 上帝不要我们去在他来之前，他审判之前，然后就去定任何人的罪。He's talking about Christians here again. All right. So he's talking to us now. Okay. So listen. 这再一次的，他现在在跟基督徒在讲话。He says what? That Jesus is going to make judgment, which is. Decisions about what our lives. 就是说，这一个是讲到耶稣将会做出这一个的审判，就是他所，也就是意思是说，他要做出这个决定。Listen up, these decisions are eternal decisions. 你要听清楚，这一个的决定是永恒、永生的决定。Let me give you project up two very important statements up there. 就是我要你看看两个很重要的这个的解释。Okay, the first statement says. What we do with God's gift, which is Jesus, determines where we will spend eternity. 第一个就是我们如何运用上帝的恩赐，这样才定我们在永恒的去向。However, what we do with our lives as believers determines how we are going to spend eternity. 第二呢，就是我们如何活出信徒的生命呢？也这样才定我们在永恒的去向。Let me ask you a question: What is your life all about? James four verse fourteen say it is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. 就好像在雅各书四章十四节说，你们的生命是什么？你们原来是一片云雾，出现的少时就不见了。That means your life is like a zero. 也就是说，你的意思就好像是一个零一样。Simple ma-、uh, arithmetics or mathematics, ah,、uh, you all know. Any finite number. That is divided by infinite. What do you get? So, one, from this one, any number, uh, 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 Okay, just say like you're pushing it. You live to a hundred twenty years old. Divide by eternity. What do you get? It's still a zero. 就比如说，你可能长命一点，你活出一百二十年，你再减，永生也是零。That tells me that what we do with this zero time is going to determine how we're going to live. All through eternity. 也就是说， wow. 我们在这个零时间里面所做的东西，将会裁定我们在永恒里面的这个趋向。Knowing this truth, how would you live your life? With purpose or by chance? 你知道这个真理之后，你需要去怎么样去活出这个生命呢？是要有目标，或者是只是意外性的去活？ How I believe all of us want to live with purpose, right? Huh? I want to talk about the believer's reward. This, this two months is our、uh, ministry appreciation month.、Huh? We want to appreciate every one of you who serve in different ministry by giving you a token only, a token of all that you have done for the church and for this house.、Huh? 
。这两个月，我们是就是说会展现很多这些我们在教会里面的服饰，同时我们也会去说去欣赏、去感谢那一些服饰的人。And it gives you open up and see. Very simple, so small only, ah.、Uh? All right, but it's the thought, the token, our peace station that matters. All right, ah.、Uh, but just remember that one day we are going to have our reward day. Believers, every single one of us, we're going to stand before God and we'll be rewarded for our lives. 就是说，可能你打开这个礼物的时候，这一个你所看到的礼物是很小。可是有一天你站在上帝的面前的时候，上帝对你所做的这个是个很大很大的奖赏。There are two main areas that God is going to examine us and reward us. 就是说，有两个两方面，上帝会检查我们。Number one, number one. 第一个 is our involvement in building the kingdom of God. 就是我们参与建立上帝的国度，这个是第一个。Look at Ephesians 4 verse 11 and 12 says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church." The body of Christ. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. It says, "Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church: the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, and their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and to build up the church. So we're going to look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 So I once told you, I talked about this one. What is the purpose of the church? It means multiplying. It means that this is the purpose of the church. God has given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift of influence. So we have given you the gift of time, the gift of talents, the gift of finances, the gift The kingdom of God grow. The kingdom of God is a kingdom that will last forever. Amen. 确保你把这些的资源放在应该所放在的，好好的运用，使到上帝的国度呢，这个永恒的国度能够成长起来。So how do we build the kingdom? 我们如何去建造、建立这个的国度呢 ？God, when He refers to our lives with regard to eternity, He refers to us as builders. 上帝就是说，只做他这一个的永恒的国度的时候，他只做我们的，他我们是一个建立者。How do I know that? One Corinthians chapter three verse ten to twelve says this: Because of God's grace to me, I've laid the foundation like an expert builder. Now others are building on it, but whoever is building on this foundation must be very careful, for no one lay any foundation other than the one we already have, Jesus Christ. Anyone who builds on that foundation may use a variety of materials: gold, silver, and jewels, wood, hay, or straw. 哥林多前书三章十到十节这么说：“我造神所给我的恩，好像一个聪明的工头，定好了根基，有别人在上面建造，只是个人要谨慎，怎么在上面建造？因为那已经立好根基，就是耶稣基督。因因此外，没有人能够立别的根基。若有人用金银银宝石草木和和其在这个根基上建造。” Paul was an expert builder here. He said, and he's instructing the Corinthian Christians how to build the church. 就是说，保罗很会建立自己的教会。他跟哥林多的教会讲到这如何去建立。He was trying to get them to have an eternal perspective. 他要他们来到看到这个永生的这一个的啊啊啊啊啊这个的看法。You can see that they have only short-term, temporal, ah,、uh, kind of a perspective. How? Because you find that Paul has to correct them. Many times about the division, about the strife, the quarrelling, the argument in church, huh? They're fighting about who's their favourite preacher, huh? What more? They were suing each other in court, and they were living in immorality. These are Christians in the church. 在当时，保罗做出很多这种欺面的工作，因为在当时他们有分党的，有这一些呃，就是说呃做不好事情的，有这一些翻奸淫的事情的。Yeah, so. He's telling us that we got to be careful how we build the church. This is his church. 
是说，他跟我们说，我们要好好如何的去建立上帝的教会，因为这个是上帝的教会。Are we going to build for temporal or are we going to build for eternal？ 我们只是，我们要建的是一个暂时性的呢，或者是一个永永久或者是永恒性的呢 ？And what you build for eternal is what's going to last forever。一个永恒性的将会持续的永恒持久下去。If you build for the eternal。Okay, let's say you will build for the temple. You're only using what hay, wood, and stubble. 就如果你只是用这，如果是暂时性，你是可你可能只是会用那些草或者是比较简单的材料去建。But if you build for the eternal, you are building with gold, silver, and precious stones. 如果你是要建造给永恒的话，你会用金，你会用宝石，你会用银。How many of us want to build for eternal? Huh? You 多少人要建造永恒？ We all want to build for eternal, don't we? Uh, not for temporal. Well, let me illustrate how is to build for the temporal. This is what's to build for temporal. You say, many people, I believe, we all want to build for eternal. But many people are still building for the temporal. Let me use ministry, lah, since we are on a ministry, uh, ministry uh, appreciation. Okay, we all want to be part of the ministry, right? Fantastic. I really am so appreciative of the ministries of our church. But don't join a ministry because you want to be seen or you want people to appreciate, applaud you. That's only temporal. Huh? 就像比如说，你参加一个事工的时候，不要因为你要给别人看到你做的事工。If you live for that, then one minute people clap for you, you're very happy. Ah,、uh, say nice things about you. Next minute somebody says something bad about you, wow, you get so hurt and so brokenhearted. 就是、说你可能如果是暂时这样的话呢，你可能只是赢取人的奖赏。如果别人不给你奖赏，你就很伤心。We have the most amazing music team up here who plays music every Sunday for you. You are blessed, our church. Aren't you blessed? Yeah. 就好像我们在这个教会里面，我们拥有一支很好的这一个的敬拜，这一个的呃呃这个声乐队。Do you know what this music music team is here to do? Not to perform for you. They're here to bring the presence of God into the house. They're here to release the atmosphere of faith. They're here to worship to bring heaven down to earth. You say this music festival is not to show us here, to show us what we can do, but to bring us down to earth. We are here to bring the presence of God. And if you're doing this, and, and as you come to church every week to worship God because you love God and you want to see people blessed and ex- receive supernatural healing and and、uh, miracles, and you are here to bring the presence of God, and that's what you are building. You are building for eternity. 我们所经历的教会是一间教会呢，是说去永生的教会，是一间敬拜上帝，是看到上帝工作的教会。One Corinthians three thirteen it says, but on the judgment day, fire will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. The fire will show if a person's work has any value. 就是说，在哥林多前书三章十三节这么说，个人的工程必然显露，他因为那日子将要表明出来有火的。发现这火将要试验个人个工程怎么样。What is the fire that the Bible is talking about? Jeremiah said that God's word is like fire. 就这个火是什么？就好像这个耶利米书讲到那个火。Jesus said in John 12 that the words I speak are the words that will judge you on that day. 就是说，这一个是讲到上帝所讲的话，在当天他是裁决我们的这一番话。So when you put wood, hay, and stubble through the fire, what happens? 如果你只是把木、把这一些草放进去烧，会怎么样呢 ？What happened? You all burn up, right? And get consumed, right? But when you put gold, silver, precious stone to fire, what happens? It purifies, comes out even more pure. 就是说，如果你把这个金的、把银的放进去烧，它出来它是更纯净的。The fire is the one that's going to reveal a person's work of eternal value. 这个火将要试验我们所做的侍奉，就是说是如何的在永生的价值里面。And verse fourteen says, if the work survived, that builder will receive a reward. Hallelujah. 如果那个工作能够维持的下去的话，人在那根基所造的呢，他就要得赏赐。God is a rewarder. Everybody say, God is a rewarder. 赏赐是一个奖赏者。That's the word of God. He says, God wants to reward us. I don't know about you, but I want a full reward. Do you want a full reward? How many one of you want a full reward? Yes, me. I don't know about you, but I want a full reward. Yes, me. I don't know about you, but I want a full reward. Yes, me. I don't know about you, but I want a full reward. Yes, me. I don't know about you, but I want a full reward. Yes, me. I don't know about you, but I want a full reward. Yes, me.
But if the work is burned up, the builder will suffer great loss. Verse 15. The builder will be saved, but like someone barely escaping through a wall of flames. Now, what, what, what's he here talking about? Does it mean that you're going to lose your salvation? No, no, no. We will still go to heaven. But the loss that he's talking about is a potential which you could have done with your life on earth. It's all burned up. It's wasted. We won't want to see that happen, correct? Just imagine this. I know some of you can't imagine what it is like. Just I'm giving you an illustration. Huh? Just imagine uh, that the day you retire and oh, you're so happy you retired. Uh, and then you go to the bank, the bank, the bank stopped, the bank closed down. That's a bad day. Down that day, your house got burned down and you just escaped, barely escaped with your shirt on your back. Oh, that's a bad day, right? <laughs> just imagine, you want to go draw your EPM? There's nothing EPM because EPM is also gone bankrupt. How what a terrible day. It can't get any worse. They want to get your secure insurance and your insurance also went bankrupt. No, no, uh. <laughs> it's just like this. Uh. Okay, I'm going to We all can imagine, all right? We can imagine because if you, even if you're out of job, you still got a lot of things all planned for, right? We got insurance after insurance. There are people now selling you more insurance. And you have got other investments all stock up. You got nothing to worry. But we hear stories of people in Iraq and in Syria that who are very rich overnight, they lost Everything because of ISIS. So I, I just want you, I mean, this is a serious matter, huh? all right? But I don't want it to be a terrifying, oh, Pastor, you're frightening me. Lah. You know, no, no, no. I'm in a good way. We need to know how we live on earth. I don't want when you go to heaven not prepared and say, Ha! Huh? Pastor never told us about this. No, we didn't know that the, how we live our life here on earth is going to prepare us for eternity. I'm telling you now, all right? I'm telling you now. <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about something practical. Another area that God's going to examine us and reward us is this. Number two. How is going to reward us? Our involvement in building individual lives. Whatever God has given to you, you've got to take those gifts and responsibility seriously. Let me ask you, God has given us all these things, all these opportunities, all these gifts, so that we can build and invest into other individual lives. Who are we supposed to influence? Who are we supposed uh, to build in our lives? It's our family. Our husband and wife. Our children. Your colleagues, your classmates, your college mates. Your connect groups, your huh? members, the church, members, friends. There's so many people, individual lives that God has put around you. Let me start with the family, huh? These are the people we have the most influence over. I'm called, first of all, not to the church. I'm called first 
to my husband and to my family. My, my first calling, my most important calling is my family, my husband, my children. That's right. I'm called to come alongside and help my husband. Huh? To help him to, uh, to reach his goals and his vision that God has put in his life. So how do I encourage him or influence? I encourage him by praising him and say what an incredible preacher he is. And I praise him and encourage him by telling him all how he has put in so much. Huh? Uh, how his bonus, his determination, his courage as a leader. These are the things I do to try to you know, encourage him to, into his calling. Yes. Huh? And also, my husband encouraged me also. Huh? He doesn't tell me, eh, you just stay in the kitchen, cook the food, don't talk so much, shut up. Huh? He sees what my gifts and calling is. No, I'll be happy and content to be a house. A uh, wife or a homemaker, if that's what God's called you. You understand that? Huh? Don't belittle people who are homemaker and who are housewife. They're doing a great job if that is God's calling for them. But if God's called you and given you gifts for something else, don't hide in the house and say, I'm frightened, I'm shy. I don't want to take the risk of doing something. I thank God my husband encouraged me to do what I've called to do. Alright. My cooking is so good, he has retired me from cooking permanently now. No more steam fish. Even up cooking steam fish for him. Just doesn't like it enough. <laughs> what about my children? As they were growing up, I encouraged them to discover the spiritual gifts, their calling, their personality, their, you know, their abilities. Thank God I've got three daughters. Now today, they are all grown up. They have families of their own. They are mothers of children. Mothering children is not easy, okay? Well, especially when they're still young. <laughs> Sometimes I, when I talk to them, they always say, Oh, it's so hard, mommy. How did you do it? It's so tough. <laughs> they will tell me. And then, you know, sometimes they feel like they are, they are not doing enough to make a difference. I got to remind them again and again, no, what you're doing is so important. You're shaping and molding these precious lives. Amen. So parents with young children know that what you are investing into them. It's your responsibility God has given to you because they are gifts of God to you. Not what you want them to do, but what God has planned for them to be and to do. Alright? Amen. Amen. <laughs> You're blessed, huh? And what about now? If your kids are grown up, your grandkids. Ah, fun. Grandkids can play with them. All right. No need to work so hard. Yeah? Pray for them. Huh? Encourage them. Listen to their problems. Keep speaking how incredibly or amazingly special they are. Just keep telling them that. Keep assuring them. Today I'm doing this, even though my kids are grown up, I'm seeing in church as a pastor, I'm going to spot people with their spiritual gifts and I'm encouraging them and I'm releasing them into the calling that God has called them to. In your workplace, in your colleague, or in your school, whatever it is, are you, are you helping people spiritually, vocationally, uh, uh, emotionally, relationally? 
就好像在这些工作的地方一样，你能是不是在他们工作的地方，在他们情绪的地方，在他们属灵的地方，你来的鼓起鼓励 ？Are you making investment into your connect group? How many of you in connect groups? I believe everyone should be in a connect group. Go to your connect group. Not what can I get out of my connect group? What can I give and invest into the connect group? 尤其是回到你的小组，你能够为你的小组做一些什么事情 ？How I can cheer other people on？ 我能够鼓励至少我的小组的组员 ？How can I challenge them to come out of the comfort zone？ 我如何能够挑战他们从这个舒服的这个地方出来 ？How I can counsel them in the crisis？ 如如何的要辅导他们在他们面对危机的时候 ？Sometimes we have serious stuff, ah,、huh? doing how doing life together in a connect group. Maybe we talk about men stuff, we talk about women stuff. But also, there's fun stuff also, lah. 当然，有时在小组里，我们会讨论一些比较认真的话题。可是有一些问题要有趣的话题。Connect group is one of the best thing. We celebrate birthdays together, huh? We have meals together. We have fun together. We do life together. 就是说，小组就是一个很好的一个信徒的生命。他们就算在里面一起的来到度过彼此的生命。So ask yourself this question today. 今天你要问你自己这个问题。Who and how can you invest? Into other people. 就说有谁或者是如何你能够投资这个的生命在它里面 ？That's right. Now we are all called not just to us, ah,、uh, just to build the church or to build Christian. We are called to share God's love with others as well. 就同时，我们不但只是建立人，我们也同时要向别人要分享上帝的爱。God didn't just ask us to come follow me, but Jesus called us to go, <laughs> go out into the world. 耶稣来不是只是去他那一边。耶稣跟我们说：“你要出去。” All believers are called to share God's love to all those around us who do, have not heard of God's love. 每一个信徒的责任就是要向他们四周围的朋友来到分享福音。All we need to do: cross the street, cross the road, cross the classroom, cross whatever you have to cross, but cross the barriers that sometimes keep us from sharing the love of God. 就是说，你要需要，就是说，超越这一个的隔膜，超越这一条的路，超越这一个，这一个的挑战，来到去分享这个福音。Tell me, Pastor, what do I say? 可是我，牧师，我需要讲什么呢？如果我分享福音 ，Just share your story. 讲你的见证。Share your story, how you came to Christ. 讲你的见证，如何成为一个基督徒。What your life was before Christ. What your life is after you found Christ. Talk a lot about what happened after you came to Christ and how your life is changed. 分享关于的，你还没有信主之前的生命。分享你信主之后的生命，多分享信主之后的生命。Cook a meal, invite somebody to your house, huh? And create an environment where people can see and can feel the love of God. 就是说，你可以煮一餐，也可以邀请人来，让他们来到感受到上帝真诚的爱。We have no right to share with them the gospel until we show them. Love. We show them God's love. We cannot show them this. That is, 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 we cannot show them this. God's cheering us today. God's saying, "Come on, church. There's so many people yet to hear the good news. There's so many people yet to feel and know the love of God." 上帝今天在鼓励做我们。上帝跟我们说，有多少的人在外面还没有听到福音的？你要出去。That's why this Christmas we encourage every leader to every connect leader to do throw a Christmas party for your neighbors, for your friends. 今年我们鼓励每一个的小组，在这个圣诞节的时候，你们做你们自己这个的 party。Because Christmas is not just for enjoyment. Christmas is an announcement. Christ, our Savior, has come down to earth. How much He loved us that He became a man. 就是说，这里这个这个圣诞节不是讲到我们自己去庆祝的一个的圣诞节，而是讲到了上帝如何把他的儿子给过我们。He lived the life like you live. In fact, he lived the life worse than what we have lived because he loved us so much. God became flesh. God became man to dwell among us. 就是说，这一个是圣诞节是讲到了这个道成肉身，上帝来到人的之间。And you know, Jesus died. 你知道耶稣为我们死吗 ？And fulfilled his purpose. What God has called him to do. 为了成全上帝要他成就的这个的使命。By dying on the cross for your sins and my sins. 为了我们的罪的关系死在十字架上。For your sickness and my sickness. 
That's what the communion is all about. His love for you. How much he loves you. He spilled his blood for you. Every drop of blood was for us, for the sins of the whole world. And on a cross, he said, It is finished. Before he gave his holy, release his spirit. It is finished. How can you say it is finished when you, if you don't know? Okay, Paul said, I finished the race. How can you say you finish your race if you don't know your course? You don't know what's the course, the route that you're supposed to run. You don't know You'll be running and running and running in circles, uh, running, running until you're so tired you collapse and somebody has to carry you home. Huh? And anybody run like that? Have you finished your course? No, I don't even know what's my cause. I just keep running. Like a rat that is on a wheel, just keep running. The only way you can finish your race is you know your cause. You, you know your calling that God has called you to fulfill. If you do not know, today the word of God that I've shared help you to know that you hear called to build the church. The spiritual house of God. And God church, God church is this not this building, you know. God's church is not even by you that we are building, huh? God's church, God's house is people that we are to reach. There are many people out there. Needing to hear about the Christ, the living Christ, the living Savior who loved them and died for them to give them this eternal life. This is the whole reason and purpose Jesus was born into this world. Let me give you this last Last illustration, huh? Last illustration. All right, you want to hear this story, or not story, this example. All right, just think about the new Jerusalem that's going to come soon, one day. This great new Jerusalem, this city, which 1500 by 1500 miles. And right in the middle of this city is a platform, a very high and tall raised platform where Jesus was seated. Jesus, the King of Kings, enthroned and seated on the throne. And what happened? There are soldiers everywhere. Soldiers are marching. There's a procession or a parade of soldiers marching and coming and going up to the platform, bringing the rewards to Jesus. And as the soldiers are all marching and bringing the rewards, which is souls that Jesus has died to redeem, there are crowds and millions of people all around cheering along the side of the road. Let me ask you the question. Would you want to be one of the crowd cheering or would you want to be one of the soldiers bringing your rewards up to Jesus and presenting it to Jesus, your reward? What do you want? What do you want? I want to be a soldier. I want to receive my reward and present the reward to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. How many of you want that? You want your reward, your full reward. 
你就是那一个就是你满足的奖赏。run on your lane. Don't run on somebody else's lane. You're not going to get rewarded for running and doing what. <laughs> you know, you run at the end, get no reward because you cross to you're running on somebody's run your lane that God has called you to run. Today I want to say I believe in my heart if you that some of you are just tired of running. You know what God's called for you. How you to build your family, build your children. How you're supposed to build your uh, your 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 family or your relatives that you are concerned that you're burdened for. But sometimes you're just so tired, you feel like giving up. Sometimes you get so fed up with that, even uh, uh, investing in other people and say, I, what's the point of investing in, 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 uh, into everybody else? I also have got problems, I also got needs. Huh? And sometimes you're just tired, you just want to give up. 就是说你觉得你是很累，就是说你，就是说你是觉得，就是我不要再做任何事情，我要我要放弃。Don't forget. 不要忘记。The day of reward is not here yet. 那个奖赏的日子还没有到。God is cheering us on this morning. 就是上帝一直要在今天要鼓励我们。God say, don't get tired. 上帝说你不要觉得疲累。Don't be get weary in well doing. Keep doing it. 就是说你做得好，你要继续的做下去。Because in due time, in time. You're going to be rewarded. Not just in heaven, you know. Sometimes you think, oh, heaven is such a long time. When I'm going here on earth. How many of you that serve the Lord and I've seen again and again as a pastor? Every person that built the house of God, it doesn't matter how big or how small, whatever you do, whatever you sacrifice. God never forgets your works. God never forgets your gifts. And He blesses you above and beyond what you can even ask from them. All I know that I've been building the house of God and God built my house. And today my house is standing strong because I'm building the house of God. My children are strong. My grandchildren are going to be strong. And they're going to be kept in the kingdom of God because I'm building the kingdom the kingdom of God myself. I'm building the lives of others and I know God is sending and building my family. Huh? Even though they may be very far away, God's going to send somebody to build into my family because I'm building his family. God takes care of me and take, takes care of mine. 建立上帝的家，上帝建立了我的家，我自己孙子的家，他们继续的强大下去。So let's stand together this morning and let's praise God for this life that He has given to us. Hallelujah! Oh, thank you, Lord. It's a good, good life. No matter what difficulty that you're going through, whatever you're struggling with, Jesus has already prepared for you a table. A table of all his provision ready for you. Hallelujah. You're tired, you are hungry, whatever you're going through. God say, Here I am. I provided everything through the cross of Jesus. He has provided absolutely everything for your life. 你说你说你累了, just come to Jesus this morning. Amen. And remember what Jesus has done for you on the cross. And draw from him that strength. Draw from him that wisdom and knowledge to how to build your house, your family, how you're going to build your, your colleagues or your classmates, the people, the friends, and how you're going to be a blessing to other people and invest into other people. Amen. Amen. Is that your life? Is that what you're going to be? Now let's go to sing the goodness of God. I love that song. The goodness of God. The goodness of God. Amen.
It's the goodness of God. It's the goodness of God that you are where you are today. The goodness of God. Everything that I have, everything that I own, everything that I'm doing is because of the goodness of God. It's His gift. Everything is His gift. Everything that I have belongs to Him. Everything. And His goodness that I'm going to sing and I'm going to declare. So we're going to sing that song, The Goodness of God, together and let's sing it out. If you can't sing in Chinese, it's okay. Just sing in English. Hey, we all sound good. Huh? As long as we are singing in the same tune, we are going to come out good. Let's shout the goodness of God and let's just celebrate the goodness of God this morning. Hallelujah. Come, let's.